okay so they're saying I got to read this thing for a sponsorship child I don't know anyway so if you haven't heard about anchor (laughs) it's the easiest way to make a podcast let me explain it's free that's a fact it is free Um, There's creation tools that allow you to record, edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Cool, cool. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Okay. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. That's dope. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to the anchor.fm to get started. Alright, so I did a quick reading on Diara, <clears throat> Diara and Ken. So right now what it looks like is that Diara had distanced herself from him. But she know that she's in a position of power she's not as um sad or tore up as she may be acting i think that she's acting like she hurt um but nah she was kind of like waiting for him to mess up like this Because he's uh, really trying to make things right. He's put it in work. He's in fear because she kind of like giving him the silence treatment. She's not really telling her, telling him her decisions and what she's going to do. To be honest... I'm kind of feeling like a sense of relief from um, Diara. Now, when it comes to Ken, he kind of feels stuck. I feel like at this point in a relationship, it's kind of like a business transaction. <clears throat> like they maybe even agree to like do their own thing, and um, but just don't get caught. And they in a, a business agreement. Also, um, Diara know that she can make money without Ken. And she also know that it's going to be harder for him to make money without her. She can make so much. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling like a relief. Like... This is an opportunity for her to be free. If not, then it's an opportunity. If she cheat, then she could be like, well, you did it first. All right. <clears throat> if she's already with somebody, because I'm kind of feeling that energy. Um... I'm kind of feeling like um, they've been thinking, wanting to explore outside of the relationship for a minute. For a minute. It's on both sides. For him, he in some ways feel kind of emasculated. emasculated. He feel intimidated by... um, Diara fame and the attention she gets. Yeah. So he's kind of like panicked because he know that messing up things with Diara could mess up his bag and she knows that. Not to say that there's not love there I do feel love but it's like um 
like a sense of relief is real interesting see how this is gonna play out um I was watching a interview with Tasha K and the dude that's speaking on it now I don't really watch Tasha K I feel like me and her um energy just don't match at least not anymore she definitely has her energy has changed a lot from like a year ago or something it has changed a lot um that might be the destruction of her like i'm feeling like in tasha k she has like her ego is really growing and um she has to be real careful with that real careful um but i was watching the interview i don't know if i'm gonna finish it but the man that is talking about it oh he's giving me so much water sign or virgo my goodness <laughs> It could, he could be an air sign, but definitely giving me water sign. Um, do I feel like, I'm just energy reading right now. Um, do I feel like Ken and that girl knew each other? yeah but it was like real sleazy like yeah they was talking but i don't feel like ken really treated her with like any real respect It could be a situation that they talked before, but that was the first time them meeting in purpose, um, purpose, <laughs> meet, meeting in person, but the vibe was off between them. Yeah, it was something off with the vibe. There's a possibility that they did not meet up afterwards or go home with each other because something about the vibe. I also feel like um, Ken had a lot of warnings from the universe telling him do not meet up with this girl, do not go to that specific place because it was gonna cause something it was gonna cause a tower moment so he had warning like right now he kind of like beating himself up because he like damn i knew i shouldn't win i knew i shouldn't win something told me not to fucking go um so i'm feeling like he just wanted some but when the girl when they met up it was like the vibe was off she didn't really want to have sex with him anymore so they kind of went like they separate ways um so i do feel like he's telling the truth about that that he didn't have sex with her but he had the intentions he had the intentions to have sex with her and it just didn't work out it didn't work out they met and they didn't really vibe i don't know if she really um was attracted to him when she met him in person so 
So when it comes to the era, she ain't worried. She ain't worried at all. Like she's a little hurt, but not really. She knows that it would be a loss for him if he lost her. And I really don't feel like she believe his his apology. Like he trying to apologize, but it's like you know, she's on she don't really believe it, but she's thinking about it in a business way, like should I continue to be in this relationship with him? Um so she's really she's still thinking about it. But if she do go back in a relationship with him, um there will be a lot of changes. And I feel like the changes is not what we think. It's not even really like um the changes might even be an open relationship or something. Yeah, it's not a lot of love there right now. Um, maybe if they take a separation for a little while, they could feel the love again. But on both sides, there's really, there's a lot of love loss. They real young. They want to experience other relationships yeah yeah on both sides on both motherfucking sides but they want to keep their business intact like even if they break up we might not know about it for a minute well, I don't really watch Dear I Can. I did like a few years ago. But, um, it just, nah, it's just too much. I can't really deal with those channels. But, if they do break up, it's probably going to be a while before they talk about it. Like, if she want to, um, because I feel like they have, like, some type of agreement. They have some type of understanding between them that make this situation not that bad. And whatever they're going to do is going to be, like, a business decision. And I don't think... And if they do break up, it's because Diara decide that she don't need him anymore. But she do have like a a sense of loyalty with him because they build their brand together. So she kind of is more so out of um. that factor like they are friends so it's more so out of the fact that they are friends it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard for him to um make as much money as he did when he was with her but it's not gonna be the same story for her I feel that major. I feel that majorly. And I feel like that's something that weighs heavy on both their minds. I 
I'm kind of feeling like, um, Diara might have cheated as well before. It just never came out. She never got caught. But I do feel like it's going to come up in the future. So that's, that's all I got for Diara and Ken.